Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is December 10th, and this is your aftermarket update. All right, so we had uh, a good day here. Um, we are on a five day win streak right now. It has been a pretty good uh, run here for us in the month of December. In fact, it's been a really uh, a pretty good run since uh, uh, early October, actually. We've uh, enjoyed the volatility that the markets have provided. Uh, we've been able to successfully manage our risk and we've been able to maximize the reward and that is basically uh, the concept that we try to go through here right we talk about that in our videos and our trade room every day and in the emails that you receive uh, that is really our mantra cut the losing trade short and let the winning trades run and today was no different you can see up here uh, on the pnl this is the es we had two trades today one break even on the cl and I think I said EL, one break even on the CL and one uh, nice winning trade here on the ES. These are one lots that we're trading here uh, with this increased volatility. Now let's talk about what we did here today. It's really pretty simple. Uh, we went to, in fact, uh, let's turn the overnight levels off here for just a moment. And so as the market opened up here today, we were talking about uh, this box around our zone here. Market uh, opens up here, and again, these levels form right at the open. Market opens up, comes down, and again, uh, we talk about uh, making it to the, the step above. If we can't make it to the step above, then we are looking for the market to come down to the step below. Market comes down, rallies a little bit, comes back down, back and forth. And uh, when we broke the top of this range here, uh, 30, and this was here at 27.75, and actually once we broke through, uh, this 29, we got. Uh, we were looking to get short. Market comes down. We get short at 28.50, and uh, we were talking about having a target all the way down here at 26. That was going to be uh, where our target was. Market comes down, rotates back and forth here just a little bit, and comes all the way back up on a stop run. We were able to get 11 points out of this quick move, and then the market comes right back into that same area and eventually comes down. And takes out that 26 now we also talked about uh, if that was going to be the case there that 26 and you would have that opportunity all the way down to the extension one and that's exactly what it did now we ended up only getting uh, 11 points out of the move now I say only uh, 11 points that's quite a bit for an ES move uh, but that area from which we got short actually was a 42 point move in the end right you had this little bit of retracement up here uh, that stopped us out but uh, we only took the uh, one ES trade today. And the reason that we were taking one ES trade today on one lot, uh, we've been coming off of quite a bit of volatility. And it is a Monday. Wanted to kind of get a sense of what the markets were going to be doing here on this Monday. And we only took the one trade again. Uh, we took the one trade, 11 points on the ES, $550. A very good trade. And then, of course, we had one CL trading opportunity. Uh, we actually took this short on the break of this 63. Uh, we were looking to come down into uh, on the CL. If you're in the trade room here today, uh, you know we were looking to come down to this 10 area down here. Uh, let's bring this back just a little bit. That's your structure target. And so we were looking to come down into this 10 from this short up here at 63. Market comes back, takes us out of break even. Rallies up just a little bit and eventually, uh, at the end of the day, makes that final flush. We did not take that. We got stopped out of break even. So two trades today, one winning trade, uh, 11 points on the ES, and uh, one break even trade uh, on the CL. So that was kind of how our day went. So we're on a nice five-day win streak, and uh, we hope to keep it uh, intact tomorrow. Uh, what I'm going to do now is what we always do here. I'm going to show you the trade of the day. We're going to let you see where we get in. We're going to cut the tape. Uh, down uh, into bite-sized chunks, speed it up, put some music behind it so you can get a sense of where it is that we got in and how it was that we exited. And so you can see uh, exactly how it was that we got to this P&L up here today. So again, thanks for listening to the videos today. Without further ado, here is that OTG trade of the day. I'm in at 28 half. Stop is 32 half. Stop is 32 half. 